Travis Scott, we're at the studio with Young Thug. Don't ask me how I got the picture. <laughs> Don't ask me how I got it. <laughs> but I appreciate all the people that were there. Okay, Young Thug um, has linked up with these individuals in the studio. They're making music. Don't know what music they're going to make. But they were in the studio to make some music, which affectionately, I got to think, they're either still working on whatever's going to come out for Baby. We know he got a, a project, which I think is going to be titled Whatever Wham Says says Goes. Or uh, I don't think Future's coming out with anything new. But let me tell you one thing. I think this was the Avengers of niggas linking up to say, this is the fuck gun of Avengers right here. I ain't going to lie to you. Let's keep it a bean, chat. Wham, he been, first of all, he actually, he actually don't like Gunna. I'm going to tell you why. Ever since he's been saying fuck Gunna or sneak this in him, his career been getting colder, so he really don't like Gunna. Okay, <laughs> Young Thug already tell you, even though he did the he did the worst tweet and delete ever. You know, I mean, Offset did it better, but he tell you he don't fuck with Gunna. And really, I think Future. Here's the thing with Future. Future just caught in everybody else's beef. Future caught in everybody else's beef. I heard the same thing when it came to. I was like, oh, so Future and Drake got this big ass beef. It's like nah, Future and Drake ain't even beef. Like, I'm not saying they had there was no problem, but there was never like this huge beef between them. But he was caught in the middle. All right, fuck it. <laughs> Future show up to the studio, you know what I mean? Probably with some new thotty fucking. Ready to, you know what I mean? Deliver another classic hook or something like that. And be like, oh, yeah, yo, we're making a fuck gunner song right now. You want to hop on? Yeah, I guess. Well, actually, Future has been saying he don't rock with rats. So, yeah, this is the fuck gunner Avengers right, right here. The fuck gunner Avengers. Facts. And Travis Scott, we all know he's a hype man for every beef. Didn't he jump up on stage? Yo, play that Drake this song. Yeah, he's a hype man for every... I don't think he got no beef at all. He just likes beef. <laughs> Y'all call me an instigator. Travis Scott, the biggest instigator in the game. Am I wrong? Travis Scott, the biggest instigator in the whole motherfucking game. He the nigga who was cool with Drake, or supposed to be cool, cool with Drake, and he on stage like, nah, play that shit. Nigga, play it. Nigga, play it. They want to hear it. Play that shit. That's my favorite shit. You know what I mean? Spike in the beef. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, just play Kendrick part. Play his part. Right now, he's in the room. He's in the fuck gunner room. And yes, Thug isn't pictured here, but trust me, Thug was in the picture. Okay, I couldn't have my spy taking too many pictures. I'm sorry, <laughs> couldn't take too many pictures. Sorry, <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? I don't want to look like paparazzi up in the room, like <laughs> okay. But uh, <laughs> Thug was there too. Okay. Anyway, this is definitely the fuck gunner song. I don't fuck with rats. Okay, I like this. I like this shit. I'm the king instigator? Hell no, I ain't the king instigator. Travis is. Y'all ain't seen when he was on stage? This is the fuck gonna coalition right here. Didn't, didn't Future have a song talking about, I don't fuck with rats, that's some new type shit. Then this nigga was on some, he definitely don't fuck with rats. And then Travis Scott, I don't even know. Tra I don't even know Travis is. Travis might just come to add some ad libs to this beef. You know what I mean? Yo, Gunna got to fight back. I ain't even going to hold you. Yo, yo, Gunna. Yo, hey, l let me announce the size because we always figure out there's a war going on. Here's the war, okay? All of Atlanta versus like Gunna and, and Offset. You got about five minutes to decide because you've been touring with or not touring, doing some shows with Gunna. And, 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 and featuring with Gunna and, like, doing a lot of things with Gunna. You from Atlanta. You got about five minutes to decide. Are you on that side or are you on King Slime side? I'm telling you. <laughs> okay? I wouldn't be surprised. I even asked them when it was like, yeah, they all here. They, they recorded. I said, oh, bet. All right. That's kind of cool. I like that. I like that. All right. Send me all the pictures and videos. Yo, get me a song if you can. Okay, bet, bet, bet. You, 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 you know what my, I don't know if this is Instagram. You know what I said? Is that nigga Metro there? <laughs> I had to find out if Metro was there. I had to. Yo, yo is Metro there? <laughs> I just got to make sure that nigga not there because I'm like, yo, I know Leland Wayne didn't sneak into the building too. I'm like, these niggas have linked up. They tried to get rid of Drake. They said, all right, that failed. Let's now get rid of Gunner. Gunner's out of here. <laughs> Except Thug's the leader this time. <laughs> okay? Thug's the leader. Thug's the leader. Yo, Thug is really mad at that nigga, man. Yo, Wham, come get your new single over here. Future, we just need you, nigga. You're just a hitmaker. Get over here. Travis. 
All right, nigga, just just be here to be here. Shit works. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Uh. So yeah, you know, um, good times, and I, I can't wait to see what what comes out of this. I do think that uh, um, Young Thug, uh, definitely has an opportunity to kind of reshuffle the deck when it comes to Atlanta and how people are viewing it. Um, with him being incarcerated, I think, th uh, I mean, I think Future just went so crazy. I mean, Future was already on a run, but Future is undoubtedly the king. I mean, there was a time that I, I remember talking to 21 Savage and he basically said that Future was the Drake of Atlanta. And I think then it sounded ridiculous. Obviously, I'm not from Atlanta. So it sounded like, well, what? Like, what do you mean the Drake of Atlanta? Like, right now, if somebody told you that, you'd probably be like, okay, kind of makes sense, right? Like, Future is the goddamn Drake of Atlanta, right? Or the Jay-Z of Atlanta, whatever you want to say, right? But, yeah, good to see him. Um, him, baby, young thug all locked in, and we'll see what comes out of this, all right? Okay. <laughs> Uh, the fuck gonna consort consortium. God damn. Yo, I ain't gonna lie to you. Yo, this this is my only message to Thug. Yo, Thug, I'm gonna be super mad at you if you make snitching not cool again. Cause I, I was kinda cool that I was kinda happy that you that snitching was back cool. Like it's all good. We love all the rats. <laughs> we love all rats. All rodents, roaches. We love all of that shit. Here's the thing. You know what I've realized? All the niggas who think they're too tough, it's like they got a mental block. They're not making no good music no more. All the guys who y'all claim are telling, they're making the best music in hip-hop. You feel what I'm saying? Let's be honest. Name me the hottest rappers. Now, we, of course, you got some of the futures who you can say, oh, you ain't tough. But a lot of good music is being made by these guys y'all are telling. And what I think it is, honestly, when you label somebody a rat, it's like when Kobe caught that R-word case where he dropped 40 points every game afterwards because he was trying to get niggas to forget. You, Yo, these rappers get so comfortable in their fame and clout and success that they're lazy as fuck. You call them a rat? They, yo, they go in the studio and drop 80. That's what we want. Sometimes, yo, we might have to make up some shit and call a nigga a rat. Yo, niggas start falling off, just call him a rat. He make the hottest songs in his life. Facts. I'm telling you. Nigga, Gunner came back with the hottest album ever. Nigga, I'm yo, nigga, I'm listening to Gunner's album. My headphones start to fucking overheat. God damn, it's hot. Everybody else who's too real. I'm listening to Baby's album. I'm like, man, this is too much real nigga shit right here, man. This is boring. This nigga rapping like he got it. Like, fuck this, man. This shit is like he not even trying no more. You might have to call a nigga rat for him to make some good music. That's how that's shit. Shit. Chat. Who you think we should call a rat? Make, get that nigga to make his best album he ever made. And, obviously I know I'm indifferent to some of y'all little rat snitching stuff. So I, some, I don't really care. I like Gunna, okay? Even though he dissed me, I like him still. But I'm going to say this. Because my man Boston Richie, y'all be saying he told... I don't give a fuck. Boston, first of all, I defend Boston Richie. It's my guy. It's my friend. I like him. It's my boy. But I want to tell y'all this. Boston Richie is making some of the best goddamn music in hip hop right now, <laughs> nigga. If if telling gets your rapping abilities like that, y'all niggas need to tell. I'm sorry, y'all niggas need to tell. Half of these niggas, half of these guys who y'all used to like, especially if they've been in the game for a while, they're not boring as hell, man. Boston Richie making some of the best music. Gunna making some of the best music. Shit, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I seen why I said Woody on live recently. I almost told that nigga to go to the studio. Sound like he might make a fire track, man. Come on. Bruv, I'm telling you, right now, y'all gotta get over this telling stuff, and I'm gonna be mad if Young Thug try to come back and make that a thing. The screech is over, okay? We like people for making good music, all right? None of y'all come from the same hoods. None of y'all holding nobody accountable. Fuck all that telling stuff. We don't care as fans. And by the way, I hate when rappers try to tell fans, well, y'all shouldn't fuck with them because they're a rat. What the fuck that got to do with us? Ain't y'all the street niggas? Y'all go handle y'all business. Don't tell. Yo, yo for all y'all rappers, stop telling fans to do what y'all need to do. Y'all got ops. Go slide, nigga. The fuck is you telling us you don't like that nigga for? You go slide. Ain't you the gangster? If you told him about a rat, stop telling us he ratted. 
Go do something about it. What the fuck we supposed to do? Boycott your your your, your biggest op or your biggest rat? Why is your street? This is why these street niggas getting locked up. You niggas need to start handling your own business. Because at this point, music is so trash that we're down to take music from anywhere. If a half-retarded, one-eyed zombie come out, that's tra- I don't know about the trance, okay? Because Donald Trump back in, he told us no more no more 15 genders. You either this or that. Shout to Donald Trump. You feel me? No more bullshit. But if we're going to take all the, 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 the LGBT stuff out of here for a second. Okay, respect to y'all. No, no, no beef. But if... If you got one eye, you fat as fuck, you telling, you not real. If you make good music, we still gonna rock with you, okay? And if anybody else don't like it, y'all street niggas need to go handle y'all beef. We just gotta be honest. Y'all made the whole hip hop hate 6ix9ine, and then I see 6ix9ine performing overseas with the same niggas who say they real. Y'all should be boycotting the concert, y'all should be like pulling up on him. None of that happened. So all I'm saying is that, hey, young thug, we get it. You mad you was locked up for three years, but dog, don't be mad at Gunna. Be mad at yourself. I'm sorry. I gotta tell. I gotta tell him the truth. Respectfully, you rented the car that was involved in this bullshit. You was having niggas wipe their nose like them niggas had allergies. You was doing a lot of this other shit, brother. And you're gonna have to take some accountability. Yes, Gunna got up there and told him that YSL is a gang, but God damn it, he wasn't about to go to jail for you. Okay, and he stayed in for a while, and he realized that I wasn't going to let him free, so he got out. Okay, us fans, and I get it. He broke street codes, but us fans don't care. Okay, he don't care. And I'm going to tell you this too, Thug, because I've seen Thug kind of wild now, right? I can't tell if he's back on the drugs or not. All right? Thug, if your first album ain't hotter than Gunner's last album, bruv, we might tell him, we're good. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think I think Thug Thug been locked up. I don't know how he been viewing what's going on in the real world. Listen, you in the studio, baby is like a block of ice. <laughs> so if you think you just go in there to cook up like some heat, you need to thaw baby out first. Pause. So I just want to let I don't want to let Thug now. No, if you think you about to cook up some mid. And think we finna cancel Gunna who is cooking up pure crack cocaine? It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. You not the real nigga shit. Listen, so listen, let me tell you how and I wanna tell every rapper this. This is how fake us fans are. We all act like it was Christmas when you got out. But nigga, three weeks later, we don't give a fuck. I'm sorry. Like, that's just how it goes. Like fans, fans are not investing your life like that, okay? We're glad you got out, but we're glad you got out for music. We don't give a fuck about the other shit, okay? So everybody's going to ride the cloud for like three weeks. Sorry, you're back out. But if your first project is whack, and if Gunna drops some other heat, we won't give a fuck who tell it. <laughs> we might look at you and be like, you should have told if you could come out and make this type of music. I'm just th- being honest with you. So news flash again. My last news flash to the rappers. Fans will not be handling y'all beefs. If you claim somebody's a rat, go handle it. We're not boycotting the music. We're going to bump Gunner. Okay? We're going to bump his music. He's making hot shit. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Sorry. The niggas y'all call rats is making the hottest music. The real niggas is starting to, the real niggas is ice cold. <laughs> so, figure it out. It ain't our job. I hate when the rappers try to make fans do their job. This is why I knew rappers was fucking lazy. How many rappers you know show up to a concert? I show up to the concert for them to perform that one song. It's time for them to perform the song. They sing two words and they put the mic there. I'm like, bitch ass nigga, I did not come here and pay $180 for you to have me sing the song that I want you to sing. What the fuck is going on? Hell no. Y'all rappers got to stop having fans do your job, okay? Again, me personally, I just like, again, I know some people going to be like, yo, act well, you weren't that fond of Gunna before. No, it's not. Well, first of all, he did this to me. But second of all, it's not that I wasn't fond of him. It was mostly because I wanted the non-street. I wanted. I wanted people to act. I hate when people selective politics. I always told you it's not really about what you did. It's about if people like you or not. Right. If, if someone likes you or not, what you did is inconsequential. Right. I always say it's better to be liked than to be right. So. 
the whole thing when people were trying to say Gunner was a, a snitch, right? I'm like, all right, so if he's a snitch, treat him like 6 9 <clears throat> Stop picking and choosing. Y'all treat all the snitches alike, or y'all don't treat none of them differently. But don't pick and choose, right? So that was my thing. Like, for example, I talked to DSPs. I remember them saying, yo, 6 9 broke one of the hip-hop codes by telling we can't show him love. And I said, what the fuck does Apple got to do with the hip hop codes? What the fuck? So you tell me, wait, I, I was confused. So you tell me Apple could platform a murderer. He could platform a nigga who doing, who's selling drugs to the community, but they got to stop when you told on your mans. What the fuck is going on? So I'm like, all right, if that's y'all, and by the way, 6 9 was the first test. So if that's y'all litmus test for, how y'all will support someone. Well, we're in the age of information now. We're going to find out that a lot of people told. Treat everybody who told like that. And then I realized they didn't treat him at all. And that's why I didn't even like with the Quano Rondo situation. Because when I started asking, I said, why Quano not getting no love? Man, I ain't going to lie, man. The other side don't really fuck with him. And right now they hiding shit, you know what I mean? Like, so I'm like, y'all picking sides. So you get to realize, once again, people just pick sides. Anyway, um... I guess, you know, Thug Baby, Thug Baby Future. Yo, if, if, if I'm Baby, yo, Baby, no disrespect to you. This is one time I got to tell you, my G, stay out the way. Yo, just get on the ad lib, bro. Yo, we don't need a verse from you, bro, because if we hear that, that same nasally, whiny um, verse from you that we've heard four million times, bro, you're going to kill the whole shit, bruh. This is the one time, nigga. Like, bruh, rest in peace to take off. But, but, but just do your ad libs, bruh. Just do some ad libs. You know what I mean? Do some, like, harmonizing. Stay out the way. Future can't miss, even if you miss. Future ain't missing, like, four years straight, my nigga. Future been going crazy. Actually, more than that. It's about seven years. Actually, more than that. Actually, Future been on a 10-year run, damn near. Travis, I'm going to be honest with you. Mm, even though Travis has his own lane, Travis is just vibes. You can't lose with having Travis being a part of it. You can't lose. Okay? And Thug, the way how Thug is tweeting, Thug tweet like a nigga that's ready to go back to jail. So just, I ain't going to lie to you. That We like when rappers are on crash out timing. You get what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yo, fans are so fake. They be like, nah, Thug, you got to calm it down. Man, y'all niggas stopped supporting Lil Wayne after he stopped drinking lean, nigga. I remember niggas like, nah, Wayne, stop drinking lean. You're going to die of a seizure. We want you. Like, we want you to live. Niggas never said he made a hot song after that, brother. It was like, all right, man, this nigga's out of here. Same with uh, who else? Gucci, man. All right, Gucci, got to stop going to jail. Gucci come out of jail, lost some weight, doing push-ups. He doing 3,500 push-ups every day on the gram. Like, he, he getting in sauna, stop smoking. Like, I'm, people like, ah, oh, this, this ain't the same nigga we listen to. Yo, fans are fickle, man. Fans only like destructive behavior. And it's the craziest thing because the majority of things that fans enjoy is watching a train that seemingly is on the road to destruction. Like, come on. Could anybody be honest with me? Two years ago, two years ago, or let's say three years ago, if somebody told you, Man, at some point, Dirk gonna get locked up. That didn't sound so much of a, a stretch. You you knew what he was fucking talking about. You knew the beefs he was. Come on, bro. If you really knew, you knew. But nobody told him. That, like, I mean, some of y'all might have facetiously told him to stop. But we only kept supporting the music that was the, the that was destructive. Let's be honest, right? Like outside of that, all my life shit, we wanted the dissing. We wanted the beefs. Now, granted, we know where it leads to, but again, this is what I say about hip-hop fans. We like to see a runaway train on the way to destruction, but we can't take our eyes off of it. And it goes for musicians. When musicians are living a reckless life, we tune in the most, we consume the music the most. Because a lot of what fans look at music as is a, a, a vicarious way of living through someone else. And you look at these guys as superheroes, right? Oh, this is the only guy with four bodies who sold 
50,000 kilos of coke who never got locked up, right? It sounds unbelievable. Until, and then it you actually support it more when you see there's some type of semblance of proof that, oh, shit, nah, this, guy, this might be real. But as soon as they get locked up, we're like, damn, man, this nigga's a dumbass, right? It's all good. Um, somebody said I had Nardo Wick, and I said it was boring because he wanted to. No, no, no. Well, no, no. I don't care. No, okay. Here's the thing. The Nardo Wick interview. The reason why I said it was these rappers don't have a personality, right? I interview with T Grizzly, bro. T, like T would like T Grizzly. He didn't say nothing incriminating. But T Grizzly knows how to have a personality for content, right? What I said about Nardo Wick, he's a great artist, but he doesn't have the personality which a lot of people use to help sell the music. So thank God his music is fire. Because these days, most of these artists are, they know they have to use their personality, whether via TikTok, Instagram, um showcase some of their personal life and maybe a relationship or whatever and that's gets them additional visibility yo look at the stats this year niggas ain't listen to music like the music it, it has to be so complicated for you to market music because you got to market some of their lifestyle their drama and tie it in with music because the fans of today are very hard to impress and that's why i even think about I said that drill music killed gangster music, literally. For me, drill music killed gangster music. With all due respect, say rappers like YG, say rappers. Let me not bring YG. Let me say like Meek Mill. Um, but even YG, I put YG in there too. For me, that was like traditional gangster music, right? You heard these guys talk about how tough they are, how to get it in, blah blah. But a lot of times, the music wasn't matching to actual events going on in their life. Right. So you probably said, yo, these guys probably lived it or they're talking about the past or they're talking about some stuff that we don't know. These days, like fans just ignore that shit. Like they, it's, it's, it's like, OK, it's like they'll listen to it. Meek raps. Great. They'll be like, cool story, bro. Then they'll go listen to a worse rapper. Vividly tell them something that they could easily track to happen in. And they'll be like, this is fire. Why is it fire? Because. It has a 360 type of feel. You get what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying about the current fan. And, and that's why I think drill music kill gangster rap. Because gangster rap wasn't meant to be in real time. Drill music is in real time. Oh, we beefing with them? Fuck them niggas. That's why when you was at the show last week, you got slapped. Yo, your baby mama got fucked. And it kind of gives fans legs to the music when they hear that to say, oh, shit. Now, yo. Now they're on Chiracology. Now they're on um, 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 the Philly um, Reddit. They're in the Jacksonville Reddit. They're, they're actually connecting shit, and that's how fans stay stay engaged with, with, with certain type of music. Now, of course, you're going to get a certain type of music like a Rod Wave. Rod Wave makes great music. He, The music alone, because his music almost represents an emotion and a feel, and, and I think that's the only way that rappers could get out of it. Your 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 music has to bottle in a feel. Rod Wave music bottles in a feeling that even if you don't know too much about what he's going through, it identifies with what you're going through. The point, is, to juxtapose it to the last point I made, it's these days if a random guy came on came on the song and said, "Yo, we spinning, we shot five niggas last night." Or not, not, or no, we spinning like yo, we spin your block. The, the same bullshit rappers say when they're talking shit, right? Or saying they're killers. If there's no depth to that, meaning they not from a block that you know get it in, or they not, they don't got a bunch of niggas with them that you think are real. If it's just one singular person coming out and saying it, it might sound good, but that shit just doesn't have any legs. It just doesn't go anywhere. It's like again, cool story, bro. So that's what, I'm, uh, that's what I was trying to tell you about a lot of the music that people hear. Now, granted, it's a Cash 22, right? I think I think Dirk was there, like, at a crossroads. Yo, the fans want you to be vivid, but you being vivid is kind of leaving you open because it's funny how Dirk was just like, 
yo, I see niggas post shit on Instagram. Like, if you do that, you might as well go to court and say you killed a man. And I'm like, well, well, Dirk was telling you exactly what was going on in the lyrics. Maybe he wasn't posting it, but his lyrics was that. So, again, uh, unfortunately, I think a lot of the fans, when it comes to the music that they want to see go up, especially violent music, they want to see it have legs. They want they want to see shit. They want to feel like it's real, which is kind of different than if you're someone making music that connects to people's emotions because you don't, you know what I mean, within reason, you know what I mean? Like with some artists, they want to see your relationship drama, I guess. But for some artists, they're like, oh, no, no, like, that actually mirrors a feeling I have. Drake is one of those, even though, again, you know, you know, he's not whatever. But if Drake makes a song about a girl playing him, like we've all went through a situation where a girl plays you. But like, oh, that mirrors that for me. The thing with gangster rap these days is like everybody's rapping about killing each other. Everybody's saying that they do this or do that. That the only way to stand out is to talk about some real shit happening which is borderline damn near self-stitching. You get what I'm saying? Okay. All right. Anyway, I don't even know how I got on that um, segue. Basically, uh, to end that, future baby Travis Young Thug linked up for the fuck gunner session, and um, we will see what comes out of this. <laughs> Eventually, man. Eventually. Now, we all know that Young Thug is banned from the metro area, This uh, the, the Atlanta metro area. Apparently, this wasn't in Atlanta. And it's supposedly, this was in, um, I think this was in Miami or something like that. Yeah, this wasn't in Atlanta, though, right? 